Good day. In this video, we're going to focus on this rule for geometry. We'll be doing five riders where this rule is used. The rule states the interior angles of a triangle are supplementary. In other words, add up to 180 degrees. The abbreviation she will run into is angles sum in a triangle, or you can say sum of angles in a triangle or interior angles of a triangle. We will use the words int angles triangle. When we answer questions in geometry, we write a statement and we give a reason for our statement. In case of this triangle, we will write angle D plus angle E plus angle F equals 180 degrees. Now reason, int angles triangle. The first question looks like this. They give us this triangle A, B, C. They tell us that angle A is 50 degrees, angle B is 100 degrees, and angle C is X. They can then ask us find the size of angle C, or they can say find the value of X. Like we said, if you answer geometry questions, you have to write a statement and sometimes a reason. In this case, we will write 50 degrees plus 100 degrees plus X equals 180 degrees. And why are we allowed to do that? Yes, the reason is the interior angles of a triangle. Now we solve for X normal equations. 50 plus 100 is 150 plus X is 180. Then we minus 150 degrees on both sides. And our final answer is x equals to 30 degrees. That's also the value of angle C, which you can fill in on the sketch if you want. Please stop the video and get your head around this solution. The next rider looks like this. They gave us this triangle C, D, E, C. They told us that angle is 64 degrees. That one is 2x minus 48 degrees. And that one is x plus 14 degrees. Then they ask us, calculate the value of x. Find the size of angle E, then what type of triangle is this? You're going to make statements and sometimes give reasons. In this case, we will add up all these values and equate it to 180 degrees. Our reason, interior angles of a triangle. Now we solve for x, normal equations. 2x plus x is 3x, minus 48 degrees plus 14, minus 64 degrees is 30 degrees, equal to 180. Now we minus 30 on both sides, so 3x equals to 150, and then we divide by 3 on both sides. So x equals to 50 degrees. Our first answer, what is the value of x? Next they ask, what is the size of angle E? Angle E is x plus 14 degrees. So we write E is x plus 14 degrees, replace the x with 50, then E equals to 64 degrees. Then we write it in on the sketch for in case we need it. Next, they ask us what type of triangle is this CDE triangle? The answer is triangle CDE is an isosceles triangle. Why? Because two angles are equal. Please stop the video and work through this solution. Before we do the next three riders, you may send a message to this number to arrange a personalized online lesson in mathematics. The next question looks like this. They give us the triangle DEFD. They tell us line DF is equal to line EF. They indicated it on that line with a double line on there and a double line on there. They ask us to calculate the size of angle E, the size of that angle there. Firstly, we may write angle E is equal to angle D is also 4x. Reason, angles opposite equal sides. Look at the video that says angles opposite equal sides of a triangle. So then we may fill in a 4x here at E. We may then write angle D plus angle E plus angle F equals 280 degrees, interior angles of a triangle. Then we write 4x plus 4x plus 2x equals 180 degrees. Now we solve for x. 10x equals 280 degrees. Divide by 10 on both sides and we get x equals to 18 degrees. Then you may write angle E is equal to 4x. We take 4 times the x we worked out, which is 18. And then the final answer is 72 degrees. So E is 72 degrees. Please stop the video and get your head around this solution. The next rider looks like this. It says here O is the center of the circle. And they say calculate the size of angle D, the angle over there. One possible way you could answer the question is, you may write, angle OAD is equal to angle ODA, and let's substitute it with an X. 
The reason why they're equal is because we have radii. That line over there and that line over there are both radii, and they are equal in length. That means the angles opposite them will be equal. We write radii. Then we can write 2x plus 116 degrees is 180 degrees. Why? Interior angles of a triangle. Now we solve for x. We minus 116 degrees on both sides. So we get 2x equals to 64 degrees. Now we divide by 2 on both sides. Then we get x equals to 32 degrees. And that's also the size of angle D. They asked us to calculate. You might want to fill it in on the sketch. Please stop the video and get your head around this solution. The last rider looks like this. They gave us this triangle. They said here we got angle C, E, F. And inside there we got another triangle D, E, F. On the side here said, given angle F1 is equal to angle F2. So those two angles are equal in size. Also told us that angle is 50 degrees. They told us that is angle D2 and D1. D1 is X. This angle is 90 degrees. That's F1 and F2. The question asks, solve for X. So find the size of that angle. One possible way of answering the question is to work in this triangle CEF. So you write in triangle CEF, the 50 degrees plus the angle F plus 90 degrees equals 280 degrees. Interior angles of a triangle. Now we solve for F. 50 plus 90 degrees is 140 degrees plus F is 180 degrees. We minus 140 degrees on both sides. Then angle CFE equals to 40 degrees. That is the whole angle at F. Then you may write angle F1 equals to angle F2, given in the beginning. So our reason here is given. Then you may write F2 equals to 40 degrees divided by 2, which is 20 degrees. Then we fill that in on the sketch. That's a 20 degrees and that's a 20 degrees. Next we go into triangle DEF. So we write in triangle DEF. That is the blue triangle you can see over there. We may write x plus 90 degrees plus 20 degrees equals 180 degrees. Again, interior angles of a triangle, that blue triangle. Then we minus the 90 and the 20 on both sides and we get x equals to 70 degrees. Please stop the video and work through the solution yourself. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video and subscribe to the channel. Enjoy geometry.